All right, so now I'm going to show you how to add some categories. But before we do that, I'm going to clear out everything in here just so it's easier to look at. So we go to View All, and this is the fastest way to clear out all these records. Over on the right side of the View All Table Viewers, you'll see a checkbox to delete. If you check the first box, it'll highlight all of them and just click Save Changes, and we're about to delete every single record. So we'll click OK, and they're all gone. So now, let's go ahead and add some categories. There are multiple ways of adding, and I'm going to show you two of the easiest ways. The first way would be from this section. If you just click on Click to Add a New Category, you'll be able to add a new category. So we just say Shirts, Save, and then we just click on Add New Category here, and we'll do Dresses. And we'll add a new category, pants, and we'll say this is going to be shoes. Now, you'll notice that the order of these is reversed from what we had in the previous video. What we can do is flip around real quick by going into the drag and drop mode. So if you click on the drag and drop mode, now we can actually move these wherever we want to. In your store, you have the option of having up to eight different navigation menus. Normally, for each template, there's only a max of three used. And you've probably seen it when you go to the front of your store, and you'll have the navigation, and then your quick links, and also a top nav menu. Those are the first three navigation menus. As you can see, we have the navigation quick links in the search section. So if we wanted to add more to each one, we can do that if we wanted to, or if we can add them all to one and then just move them around. Save that, and we can move this over to the fifth navigation menu if we wanted to. But since that kind of looks dumb, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is rearrange our categories in the first nav menu. So we'll just drag this up. I want shirts to be first, and pants, and we'll put dresses above shoes, and we're done. Now, if we just click on click here to publish, and then go to the front and click on refresh, bam, here's all our new categories. And as you can see, nothing is under quick links because we took away category nav 2. That's the first way and easiest way to add categories. The other way is the old V4 way. If you click on view all, add will light up, and then you can click on add here and we can add categories through this way just like we would to again shirts to and then we click on add and we'll change to add in add mode so that we can quickly add new if we had an edit mode it would add it and then come back to it and allow us to edit it but not add any more without going back to it again so we'll click on add new again and as you can see we didn't set it to a category visible so these are going to be basically nowhere so we're going to click on Add New again, just to add another shirt to, and we'll say this is going to be four, and we'll say six, and now we just have new categories that aren't really anywhere. But the good thing is, if you did set it to first nav menu, you wouldn't have to click on the publish part, but it is also a little slower than the regular way of going to the category section. So we'll go ahead and click on categories again, and we'll notice that none of those categories are here anywhere. And that's because this only shows categories set to these eight nav menus. So we'll have to click on View All to find them. So if you find yourself going into the category section and can't find the categories you just added, the reason probably is you didn't set it to one of the nav menus. So you need to click on View All and look around. And as you can see, Category Visible is the column that we save the nav menu under. And you can see here that they're blank. So what we need to do is put them somewhere. So we'll click on the pencil, and we'll just say 2, 2, 2, 2, and save the changes. If we go into the category section, we'll see the categories. And if we go into drag and drop mode, we can move them around. Actually, maybe we want this to be a subcategory of shirts. Maybe shirts 2, and then we have a shirts 4. Oh, maybe not, that's too far. We'll go back one here. Save. And then we'll have a shirt six as a subcategory also. So now we have the subcategories. We're going to go click here to publish and then take a look at them. 
So here's the shirts, pants, dresses, and shirts two, the one we have left over here, is showing up here. And if we click on shirts, we'll see the subcategory, shirts two, shirts six, and shirts four. Here's for adding categories.